There's no denying that AI is having a massive impact on business. Whether you like it or not, it's here to stay. But rather than seeing it as something that will replace your business, see it instead as something that will enhance it. I'm sure you all know by now that ChatGPT is a solid tool to use when it comes to coming up with new ideas for print on demand, but only if you give it the right prompt. If you give it the wrong prompt, it's going to spit out boring, generic responses, and you don't want that. So it's important to have a formula that you can rely on. Today, I'm going to go through the exact prompt formula that I use to create winning designs for print on demand. So I just want to jump into ChatGPT now and show you where most people tend to go wrong when they're using ChatGPT for their print on demand business. So someone who's selling in the car niche, for example, they're stuck for ideas, they come on ChatGPT. Give me slogan ideas, uh, give me t-shirt slogan ideas for the car niche. Enter. As you can see, it outputs results. They're boring, they're basic, they're too generic. And the problem is people think ChatGPT is magic and it is good, but it's only as good as the input. So the output is only as good as the input. You have to remember that. So if we take um, built, not brought, for example, copy that, go on to Etsy, paste it in, built, not brought, car, t-shirt. Straight away, you can see there's three there, four, five, car sticker, t-shirt, 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 you get the idea. If you make these, put them on Etsy, put them on Shopify, all you're doing is adding more or less <clears throat> the same products to the market. You're not gonna stand out, you're not gonna be seen. So that is where my ChatGPT prompt formula comes in. So the formula that I like to use consists of six key components. You've got the outline, audience, mood, format, length, and season so i'm going to go through each of the six stages now uh, we're going to alter the prompt as we go and we'll see what the end outcome is and then hopefully you can apply this to your print on demand business and come up with winning designs so starting off with the outline this is the most basic part of the prompt and all you're doing here is telling chat gpt a general summary of what it is you want the outline of the project so keep it simple keep it basic and for the purpose of this video i'm going to have this product in mind the pet food map. I think this is quite a good one to be honest because if you go onto Google you can see that pet mats they're pretty boring and they kind of all look the same so if anyone likes the idea of this video and wants to give pet food mats a go feel free. So I'm just going to go into chat GPT and I'm going to say please give me dog slogan ideas to put on pet food mats and as you can see we've got simple simple slogans back similar to when we did the car slogans but that's okay because this is only step one and all we're doing here is outlining the project so now we've identified our outline it's time to move on to the second part of the prompt which is audience this is where we basically just tell chat gpt who the product is meant to be for so i'm just going to copy the outline here paste that into the bottom bit and I'm just going to add on to the bottom four golden uh, retriever owners enter so as you can see I've added the audience onto the outline and we've got much more niche niche down um, outputs so we're getting there but we're still nowhere near done so now it's time to move on to the third part of the prompt, which is tone. Now, this is really where you can add a little bit of character, a little bit of emotion to your slogans. So I'm just going to copy the prompt in again. So we've got the outline and we've got the audience. So on the end, I'm just going to add a bit of tone. I'm going to say the golden retriever is a naughty Naughty boy, we got a naughty, naughty golden retriever we're dealing with. So hit enter. And as you can see, we've got slogans specifically for naughty golden retrievers. So this is useful if the owner's got a naughty dog. You can obviously change the 
um, tone to good. You can change it to shy, energetic, anything like that. And you'll get outputs matching your tone. So now, as you can see, the slogans, they're, they're more interesting, they're less generic, they're less boring. However, we're not quite done. There's still a bit of work to do. So moving on to the fourth component of the prompt, we've got format. Now, this one isn't essential, but I do like to experiment with it just to see what kind of results I can get. So this is where we take formats of already working designs and kind of put your own slogans into it. So if you think of the warning design where they use the warning um, road signs and incorporate a slogan into it, you see those quite a lot on t-shirts or you've got the Monopoly style posters where people put their road names as a Monopoly card. So if we're thinking of our dog map slogans, we've got one here that says, warning, food may disappear suddenly. Now, this is missing the golden retriever element and it's missing the naughty element. So I'm just gonna write in here. First off, I'm gonna take the prompt. So we've got our outline, we've got our audience, and we've got our tone. So I'm just going to add on, write them as though they were part of a warning sign. So this is the format. I want them formatted as though they are part of a warning sign. So I'm going to hit enter. And then as you can see, we've got slogans that can be incorporated in the style of a warning sign. Now, I think these would be quite a good idea for a food map because it's quite unique. I've not seen it before myself. Whether it'll work or not, it's a completely different story. You'll have to trial it and see what the uh, feedback is like. But I think this is a good way to get creative and kind of use something that's already working, but put a spin on it. But again, this step isn't essential, but I do think it's good when you're trying to maybe bulk out your store, you, you want to drop maybe five, ten similar items. Uh, I think it's really good for that. So moving on to the fifth component of the formula, we've got length. So depending on the style of your products, you might want the slogan to be short, snappy, straight to the point. For example, on T-shirts, we often see a couple of words, whereas on posters, you might see 10 plus words. Completely product dependent. Um, so I'm just going to take the prompt here, put it in. So of course we've got the outline, we've got the audience, we've got the tone, and now we've got the format. So I just want to alter the length because I think, I think if we're putting it on a food mat, it's got to, got to be short and snappy. So I'm just going to add on here, make them six words maximum enter and as you can see we've got uh, outputs that are six words maximum so quite like this one danger golden thief in action he's eating his food he's a naughty boy he's a thief he's taking it uh, warning golden here on the loose warning hungry golden chaos follows so as you can see we've taken the prompt all the way from please give me dog slogan ideas to put on pet food maps, getting stuff like uh, good food, good dog, sit, stay, eat, boring, all the way down to danger, golden gremlin on the prowl. Now, a bonus thing I like to do is put a seasonal twist on my prompts, but only if it makes sense to do so. So it doesn't always work, but it sometimes does, so it's worth trying it. So I'm just going to add onto the end of my prompts, make them Christmas themed. So as you can see, we've now got Christmas themed ones for the Golden Retriever pet food mats. Uh, caution, Christmas Feast, Golden Mischief, uh, Danger, Golden Christmas Gremlin at work. So they kind of make sense. Now, this is particularly useful if you're working with a product that can be adapted during holiday times. So think Halloween, Christmas, those kind of things. And basically by doing this, it's ensuring that you can really take advantage of peak sale periods just by slightly altering your designs a little bit. So I just want to go through the prompt one last time, summarise it just to wrap up the video so you can see how we've got from 
the beginning of the prompt to the end of the prompt and how you can use it and implement it for your print on demand ideas. So starting off, we've got the outline, the basics. Moving on, we've got the audience. We're telling ChatGPT exactly who it's for. And then moving on to the tone, we've got uh, the, na the golden retriever is a naughty boy. We're adding a bit of character, a little bit of personality to the prompts now. Moving on, we've got format. This is where we use already proven to work formats and put our own spin on it. Then we got the length, we're just altering the length of the slogans, making it more adaptable to our product. And then finally, you've got season. And remember season is, format and season are basically optional. You don't have to do them, but they are useful to do if they make sense to do so uh, within your products. The great part about this formula really is that it works in pretty much any niche and you can kind of take bits from it. You can tailor it exactly however you see fit. But it is important to remember that this formula isn't concrete and it is meant to be experimented with, but it's definitely kind of like a good foundation to go, go off when you're making new products and you're stuck for ideas. So yeah, I think it's a great, great formula to follow and I hope it helps.